The name Ananiah, meaning, Jehovah has shown favor, or, Jehovah has been gracious, is attributed to several individuals in the Bible, each playing distinct roles in biblical narratives. According to Jehovah's Witnesses and information from their official website, jw.org, notable figures named Ananiah include 1. Ananiah, also known as Shadrach. One of the most prominent individuals bearing this name is Ananiah, better known by his Babylonian name, Shadrach. He was one of the three Hebrew youths, alongside Mishael, Meshach, and Azariah, Abednego, who were taken into Babylonian captivity during King Nebuchadnezzar's reign. These young men were selected for their intellect and potential to serve in the king's court. Despite being in a foreign land, they remained steadfast in their worship of Jehovah. A notable instance of their faith occurred when they refused to bow to a golden image erected by Nebuchadnezzar, resulting in their being thrown into a fiery furnace. Miraculously, they emerged unharmed, demonstrating Jehovah's protection and their unwavering faith. 2. Ananiah, son of Azur. Another significant figure is Ananiah, the son of Azur, a prophet from Gibeon. During King Zedekiah's reign, Ananiah opposed the prophet Jeremiah by falsely prophesying that within two years, Jehovah would break the yoke of Babylon, leading to the return of exiled Jews and temple vessels. To symbolize this, he broke a wooden yoke that Jeremiah had been wearing. In response, Jehovah, through Jeremiah, declared that Ananiah had replaced a wooden yoke with an iron one, signifying harsher oppression, and foretold Ananiah's death within the year. True to this prophecy, Ananiah died that same year, confirming his status as a false prophet. 3. Ananiah, Grandfather of Irijah. This Ananiah is believed to be the grandfather of Irijah, an officer who arrested the prophet Jeremiah, accusing him of deserting to the Chaldeans. This incident highlights the tensions and challenges Jeremiah faced during his prophetic ministry. 4. Ananiah, son of Shashik. Identified as a head of a Benjamite house, this Ananiah is mentioned in genealogical records, underscoring the importance of lineage and tribal affiliations in Israelite society. 5. Ananiah, son of Heman. One of the 14 sons of Heman, Ananiah was appointed by King David to lead the 16th division of Levitical musicians, playing a role in the musical aspects of temple worship. 6. Ananiah, a high-ranking officer. Serving as a prince in King Uzziah's army, this Ananiah held a significant military position, reflecting the organized structure of Judah's forces. 7. Ananiah, father of Zedekiah. This Ananiah was the father of Zedekiah, a prince during King Jehoiakim's reign, indicating his family's involvement in the royal administration. 8. Ananiah, son of Zerubbabel. Listed in genealogies, he was the father of Palladia and Jeshiah, contributing to the post-exilic community's lineage. 9. Ananiah, a descendant of Babai. This individual was among those who, during Ezra's time, dismissed their foreign wives to uphold the sanctity of Israelite worship, demonstrating adherence to covenantal laws. 10. Ananiah, a Levite priest. As head of the paternal house of Jeremiah during Nehemiah's governorship, he played a role in the religious leadership of the restored community. 11. Ananiah, a wall repairer. A member of the ointment mixers, he participated in repairing Jerusalem's wall under Nehemiah, showcasing communal effort in restoration. 12. Ananiah, son of Shelemiah. He contributed to the repair of Jerusalem's wall, emphasizing the collaborative rebuilding efforts post-exile. 13. Ananiah, a priestly trumpeter. Participating in the inauguration of Jerusalem's wall, he played the trumpet, integral to ceremonial worship. 14. Ananiah, a covenant signatory. As one of the heads of the people, he attested by seal the trustworthy arrangement during Nehemiah's governorship, signifying commitment to the covenant. 15. Ananiah, the fortress commander. Described as a trustworthy man who feared God more than many others, Nehemiah appointed him, along with Hanani, to command Jerusalem, highlighting his reliability and piety. These accounts of individuals named Ananiah illustrate various aspects of faithfulness, leadership, and, in some cases, opposition to divine direction, each contributing uniquely to biblical history. Please share and like and please subscribe.